Hello, my angels. So my chair is going to make a lot of noise. Can't help it. I'm going to do a really quick what's in my bag video um, for my Fendi Peekaboo. This is from circa 2011. I just had it repainted and I usually wear it like that. But sometimes I do close it because it looks just as beautiful closed. Um, or like, you know, if I'm taking the train or the subway or um, I will keep it closed. But on the part that's usually open, I have my mail, <laughs> uh, which I'm not going to show you because my address is on it, um, that I always, <laughs> I always have because when I leave my house, I check the mail and then I don't want to go back inside and put the mail in. So I take it with me wherever I go. Then I have my sunglass case. It, you could, it's whatever I'm wearing that day. In this case, it's the one that I think, to me, it looks like Aramad's, but it's not. Um, I got this from AliExpress and then the Fendi Olak glasses in here. That's what I was wearing recently, but it's whatever sunglasses I'm wearing. Then I have my leather pen holder with my pen because I'm really not trying to, um, grab, you know, the times we're living in right now. And then I usually have my phone in it. This is my phone right now. And in the zipper compartment here, I keep my wallet, right? The Bottega inspired wallet and my keys. I drive a Lexus. And I keep that in the zipper compartment. So it's easy access, but it's also secure. In the back, because there's a back section, so it opens up like this, I have the YSL Libre Parfum. I have a battery charger. The cord is actually in my bed because I was charging something. I have a YSL mirror, which I haven't used yet, but I'm going to at some point. Um, I should take the plastic off, but I don't want to. I like to keep things new as long as possible. I have my Burberry case with my reading glasses from the Dollar Tree, but they look like they're Burberry because they're in a Burberry case, but they're not. Um, I tried to, to just survive without these, but I need my reading glasses. I just can't. It hurts my eyes. Um, Elemis Skin Care. Uh, this is the Pro Collagen Marine Cream Anti-Wrinkling Hydrating Day Cream. And this little bottle supposedly is $50, but I always get them for free in like these kits. The Evelyn and, uh, the Crabtree and Evelyn, Evelyn Rose. I really like this one. The hand cream. Then we have, this isn't for me. This is for my family because they're all very fair. Ultra Sheer Face and Body Stick. They always forget to bring their sunblock, so I carry it for them. My business card holder. Um, this little thing with all my lipsticks in it. That I got, oh, and this 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 Christian Dior tie hair tie thingy, um, in case I have to, in case my roots start to, meh, I could just tie my hair up, right, and just you know tame them, <laughs> because sorry, <laughs> because um, they get they get unruly sometimes, you know. So when the curls start coming out because I'm sweating or whatever, I tie it down with a hair tie. It's not always that one. It's whatever hair tie I feel like, you know, for the season. Um, then I got this from, I love this, from AliExpress. It's $5. And they put your name on it. And it looks like this on the front. I love this little thing. A lot of people don't like it, but I do. And then I love this pattern on the back. So I bought another one, the same one, because I love it so much that I know. You know, like when you know when you're going to need it again, it's not going to be available. So I got that. And then I also got them in different colors. I got it in like one that looks like the Trois de G in the pink, the black and white, and then the white and blue. You know, so it's white and black and then white and blue. So the white, it's white background with the black animals outline. And then the white background with the blue animal outline, white background with the pink animal light, uh, outline. And then again, my name Myra. So I love that. And in it, I have my Hermes Rose Indian lipstick, which is like this color. It's Rose Indian, uh, I-E-N at the end, not I-A-N. Then in here I have the Rose Kabuki from Christian Dior. 
and am I wearing perfume today? It's discontinued. I don't know why they discontinue all the good ones. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> the perfume. Sorry. Um, then this is from Laura Geller. It's the Lip Action Lip Gloss in the color. I just had reading glasses. Oh, here. I know. I didn't want to open. I don't want to open the one that I had because I know that they're right here. Whenever I make videos, I need my reading glasses. Adore. The color is called Adore. And it's like this purpley fuchsia pink. But it's perfect for dark skin girls. It gives you the perfect pink look. But it's also nice for fair skin. Because it gives you that fuchsia. And whenever your lipstick is drying out, like this one, it was a matte lipstick. The one that I'm wearing now is actually Contrary Fuchsia by YSL. Uh, in the slim stick so con the YSL slim stick colors contrary fuchsia when the inside starts wearing off I put this lip gloss on top of it and then I revive it and it looks like a satin I'm okay with that same thing with the rose Indian so that's why it's here to bring back to life the lipstick when it starts wearing off then I have another uh, I have a Mac this one Meredith Duxbury gave me the next two and this one is called Ruby new And when I built her makeup studio, she gave me this um, as a thank you. And she also gave me the lifter gloss in the color Reef. And another color in two colors. And then this is my lip liner for that. It's the same color I've been wearing since high school. This lip liner with a color just like this. So when she gave me these two colors, I was like, how does she know? And then she gave me a bunch of these. Before they came out, like two weeks before they launched, she gave me like six different MAC ones. I have one here that I'm actually going to be giving away. Um... And so all of this is in here. Actually. No, that should be on top. Because the red I only use really if I'm going from day to night. I use this one all the time. And the Rose Indian. Everybody's in love with it this, this season. Everyone's like, I love your lipstick. I'm like, well, thank you. And then, of course, I have my tarot cards. Um... I know you guys are like what yeah I read tarot I created my own deck um, I'll put the link below if you guys want to check it out but they're like cool pictures you know what I mean like they're all like 1950s vintage pictures I think they're really cool and I, I you know I curated this deck um, it's my personality in a deck so see that's me <laughs> the queen of pentacles no <laughs> And that's the guy I'm waiting for, the King of Cups. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are just like some cards that I put together. If you guys are interested, you could feel free to click on the link below. Um, they literally depict what it's supposed to be. If you've never read Tarot, you can kind of look at the pictures and figure out what it's supposed to be. Um, whereas some other decks, you're just like, this makes no sense. Why is this on the card in the first place? No, I really thought about it. <laughs> like, and I wanted to make it easy for everyone. Um, I, that's what I was doing. I was researching tarot cards. I just think they're interesting. Uh, all the different ones that were out there. And I was like, I want to make my own deck. And I did. And that's one of the projects I was working on. That's my first deck. And I'm going to be working on multiple other decks because I think they're interesting. And then they're also angel cards and oracle cards. You're going to see me developing those as well. I, I, the same style of pictures. For people that don't want tarot because they don't like tarot, I also have oracle cards, which are like images on a card and then words that say something like, um, I'm stuck right now. Um, travel in a new, in a new direction or, you know, expect a phone call or, you know, like they're, they're just oracle things or, um the sun is coming you know so like you might be in a in a downward spiral and then you pick this card up and it's like don't worry things are getting better you know so there's that and then I also developed them for my school the intimacy school I'm working on that um you know for to help couples that are having issues with communication they can like pick the card out and talk to each other to make it easier to talk about their feelings or to talk about whatever issues they're having so keep an eye out for that stuff I do a lot of different things um 
and I'm doing it because I don't want to live a traditional life. I like, I love traditional relationships. I love a traditional home. I love tradition in general, but I don't want to live a traditional, like I don't want to work in a traditional field, if that makes sense. Hello, I'm on YouTube. That's not traditional. You know what I mean? Like, so I like to do things out of the ordinary because my, my life is so generally like traditional and not conservative because I'm a little wild and out there. A little weird, you know, watch my channel. Um, but because, you know, my life is like that, there has to be something that's like, Meow, and that's, the <laughs> that would be my career. <laughs> So that's what I have for you guys until next time. Um, I will have links for everything in the description box. Thank you for checking out what's in my bag. And um, yeah, that's what I have. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Rock and roll. Uh, if you like my vibe, please subscribe. I do lots of giveaways. You have to look at the giveaway videos to see what I'm giving away at the time. And then I'm also... Um, if you like my style, come back for a while. I'm going to be doing a lot more styling videos. I'm getting rid of all of like anything that's non-brand, well, most of the non-branded items that I have. And I'm just going to be wearing all of my luxury items and the clothes are on and off. You know, some things are like high fashion name brand. Other ones are like old Navy, you know, and I mix them all together to get a look. And I share that with you guys because I understand like, you know, I've been poor, I've been rich, um, very well off. And there, you know, you got to ride the line. Like, even if you have money, it doesn't mean you want to spend it. Like it's always going to be there. Cause you never know. Um, and then as I learn about investments and different projects and different things that I could do and ventures that I'm getting into, I will share that with you guys as well so that you too can also figure out if you want to do a career change or something like that, what you can do or what you can possibly invest in. Um, I'm not a financial advisor. So anything I say is just what I'm personally doing and the risks that I'm personally taking but I can't guarantee a result on anything. You know what I mean? Like if I lose money, I lost money, you know? Um, but I'm really looking more towards like real estate. I'm trying to get into like the tax lien thing. And as I'm learning it, I'll share it with you guys. Like what I learned, what I, my mistakes, my full pause, how, you know, I lost money or I gained money and stuff like that. So that, that is what I'm going to be talking about in the future. It's going to be like a well-rounded channel about how to get the look, maintain the look and keep, you know, keep that lifestyle. Um, some people just live an average life and they have a few luxury things, which is how I was before. Now I'm trying to convert my whole life into just being surrounded by high quality luxury items because I can afford it because I like it. And you know, you guys have seen, if you watch all my videos from earlier, when I first started the channel, you'll see the progression of me and my personality and everything that's happened in my dating life. <laughs> Oh, my dating life. Anyways, <laughs> until next time, my loves. I am single and I'm ready to mingle. So if you know anybody and you want to set them up with me on a blind date, I will go. I'm in New York City. All right, you guys? Until next time. Bye.